Hi there. I just wanted to start a new YouTube channel about pins and uh, especially collectible uh, small business pins, not official pins, but pins that artists design and make or, or have made themselves. And I have been collecting pins for a while now. Um, by the looks of this, you would say years, right? But actually, I've only been collecting since March of 2020. So you can kind of tell <laughs> why I started collecting. Um, but I just wanted to start making videos about collecting pens and opening pen mail because it's so exciting so much fun uh so um at first for my first video i wanted to go over my collection as it is now and i believe this is pretty much this is the bulk or this is pretty much everything that i have this is pretty much everything that i have uh for now you can if you are already into collecting pens you can already see that there are a few things on here that are pretty valuable uh, but I wanted I'm not gonna go over pen by pen because that will take at least an hour but I'll I'll go over some things bit uh, bit by bit really broadly and quickly okay so starting out I have my very tiny uh, husbando collection and I know that I am planning on trading away Grimdrow eventually. Uh, I don't know. I don't know when. It really depends on the trades that I I get offered for him. And that's uh, that's another thing. That's a really big thing about the pen collecting right now, which I love. This is always something I wanted to do: is collect pens. And have like a trading community for them, kind of like how Disney has the their official Disney pin trading. Now, artists have their own pin trading. So anyway, starting with the husbandos, we have Levi and Chikamaru and Grimjow. I'm subscribed to Maling Mouse's um, husbando thing, and I I plan to get the waifus and all that stuff too. Uh, this is my uh, tiny, tiny, tiny One Piece collection that I'm hoping to uh, grow. I definitely have some more. Why does it shake it so bad? I definitely have some more One Piece pins on the way. Uh, and this is <laughs> very little Sugar Charo that I have. Uh, Sugar Charo is probably one of my most favorite anime. Definitely my favorite Magical Girl anime. And if anybody is making Sugar Charo pens, I am here for it. I'm ready. I want it. Alright, so I just started collecting Hunter Hunter stuff and this is kind of what I have for it. You might notice some pens that are like out of place and that's because I was, I've been running out of space on my board and I need to get a new board or two or five so I apologize for that but yeah here's my tiny Hisoka collection and I'm, am I obsessed with Hisoka no but <clears throat> I do like his character um I don't I don't hate him I think he's a creep and I think he's a weirdo but I also don't hate the character uh, here you see my very tiny Attack on Titan collection, uh, mostly about Levi because he is definitely my favorite character in there. Uh, tiny Fruits Basket collection as well, like literally the one Fire Force pen. And you'll see over here, this is, I believe these are some of the only pens on here that you're going to find. Uh, the only pens you're going to find on here that are not um, anime related. And these are from books. They are locations in books. So if you look closely, if I can, if I could ever get this thing to focus, 
That would be amazing. There we go. Okay. So you'll notice that these are locations from, usually it's about YA or, um, sorry, young adult or new adult. Um, books so that's them now zooming out a tad you're going to notice my vast my hero academia collection i think i have the most pens of that i don't know it might rival uh my demon hunter or uh, my demon slayer collection might might have something to say about that but i'm trying to collect most of these guys I love these guys these are by Katie Fox and I love her style so much I try to collect most of what she has I also have another thing by her where are you here he is Bakugo anyway here's my hair academia collection you can probably find some valuable stuff and you can probably guess that Bakugo and Fat Gum are my favorite characters. Interesting because they're kind of two opposites. But yeah, they're who I love. Uh, moving on, uh, we have. Let's go down to the Demon Slayer pens. This is the Demon Slayer collection for the most part. It's kind of like. I think my my Naruto stuff is edging into there. That's the problem with having this tiny board. Uh, but I try to stick mostly to the main four characters in the show. So you're mostly going to see Tanjiro, Nezuko, Zenitsu, and Inosuke on these boards. Yes, you're going to see that I have a few things with Gyu and... Uh, the other Hashira, but mo for the most part, we're gonna. I I try to stick with the main four. I also have a Demon Slayer Ita bag that I do not have in this room right now. Uh, I can do a tiny, short little snippet at the end for that. Maybe. Here is uh, my somewhat minimal Naruto collection. Uh, this is like a Demon Slayer Naruto crossover by Kevin. Uh, I believe Kevin Collectibles is what he goes by um, in most of his social media. And his pens have been incredible. And I'm ab actually about to open a package for him today. Can't wait to see what's in there. Uh, some more stuff by Hady Fox. Uh, another Mowling Mouse. And right next to it is a fat cat pen. I don't have many fat cat pens. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see the, the Naruto stuff. Here's another Mowling Mouse. Super popular pen. Um, let's see. What else? Now, these are just my random pens here. From all kinds of stuff. So, some of them will be from anime, other ones would just be cute. Uh, I have a tiny, tiny Vulpix collection you can see right there. Um, tiny, tiny Sailor Moon collection. I'm not really that crazy about Sailor Moon, but I thought the pens that I have right here, I got. I got because I thought they were really cool. And these pens you can see, this is my job here is done. And the other one says, but you didn't do anything. Uh, and Magic the Gathering. Here's some anime dogs. This pin is from an artist that uh, is referencing The Witch uh, movie. This I thought, I just thought was hilarious. So I had to get it. I have a little bit of Ghibli stuff. I have a little bit more on my trades, which I will show later. Obviously, I like Overwatch. I actually have an Overwatch tattoo. And you can kind of see the rest of the, the rest of it. But that's my pin board. I'm just going to zoom out here again to get 
Hang on. All right. Zoomed out. Fixed my camera to show the whole board again. Lots of stuff. You can kind of tell it's rather a big board here. I have tiny hands, so this isn't a good reference, a super good reference, but this is my hand like next to the board or very close to the board. Um, big board. I believe it's like, what is that? Two feet, two and a half feet by four. So big, it's a big board. Now let's move on over to my trades and sales board. All right, so this is my trades and sales board. This is, on this side is my less valuable pens that are for sale, honestly. They, they range from $20 to $5 uh, in price. Um, if anybody's interested in buying them. Uh, <clears throat> and then this is my trades, which tend to be not ignore the Sophia the first pen. My daughter wanted to get a part, be a part of that. Uh, also the cow and the ma the rat pens are gone. Don't <laughs> don't pay attention to that. You'll probably notice that most of these pens are from the same artist and it's absolutely nothing against Nadine because I love her pens. These, I mostly got these pens because I know that other people will probably want them. So they're here to trade for other pens that I could not get from her. Is pretty much why I have them. I'm sure that sounds kind of weird, but yeah, that's why they're here. It's not because I don't love them. It's not because I don't love her stuff. It's because I know that other people love her stuff too, and I hope to get her stuff, different stuff of hers. So those are my traits. This is the whole board again. It's not obviously not as big as my collection, but why would it be, right? Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that is... Well, I, I can show you my Eda bag, but after that, we're going to move on to a video of me opening. Just It's just going to be like two packages, I think. Um, yeah, I have a few videos saved up, so I'll be sharing those later. Okay? Alright, excuse any mess that you might see behind this, but here is my Eta bag. My friend over at Chubby Bunny Studios, she's a seamstress who specifically specializes in sewing purses and wallets and backpacks, made this for me. Um, I need to get like a an insert put in here because this isn't really this ain't this ain't doing it um, But she made this For me and it is specifically a demon slayer backpack really cool the fabric is by um, Acheron I believe I'm saying that name right Acheron uh, fabrics and I don't know if she has any more of this fabric. I know I bought a ton of it myself. But yeah, this is custom printed fabric. It's pretty expensive. It's about $28 a yard. So just if you're planning on, if you're interested in the fabric, be aware that it is expensive. And these are the pens that I have in the Eda bag. Obviously, you can tell more of the main four because that's who I like to focus on. We have Inosuke and Nozuko. We got the chrome. Oof, don't look at my nails. I, I know I bite them. Don't, don't talk to me about it. <laughs> um, 
I don't, I can't really pick a favorite character from this series, which is kind of why I focus on the main four, because they're my favorite characters, all four of them. They're all really great characters, so those are the ones that I'm on, or that are on my bag. Uh, and yeah, that's it for my pens thus far. We are going to be opening a package here right quick soon, so stay tuned.